the binomial theorem. This is a theorem that we need to review because it turns out to be very important in calculus. It is a shortcut when we have a binomial. Of course, you remember a binomial is when we're adding two monomials. So, for example, x plus 2 is a binomial. When we raise a binomial to a power. So, normally, the way we would do this is do x times x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2 and then of course we'd have to foil everything out and then it would be a, a quite long and complicated process. Well the binomial theorem is this amazing shortcut and the shortcut has three pieces. It says that when we raise x plus 2 to the power of 3, piece number one is that the powers of x in each term are going to go down by 1. So we're going to have an x cubed term, then an x squared term, then an x term, and then a term without an x at all. The powers of 2 are going to go up, starting from 0. So first there's going to be no power 2, and then a 2 to the first, and then a 2 to the second, and then a 2 to the third. And finally, in front of these, there are slots for coefficients, and these coefficients are going to come off of Pascal's triangle. So we're raising to the third power, so we draw from the third row of Pascal's triangle 1, 3, 3, and 1. And so the whole polynomial would be x cubed plus 3 times 2, which is 6x squared, plus 3 times 2 squared, which is 12x, plus 1 times 2 cubed, which is 8. And so that would be the cube of the polynomial, an enormous shortcut. Again, suppose we were going to raise x minus 1 to the power of 7. Well, this one would take an enormously long time to multiply out when we didn't have the shortcut. But with our shortcut, we know that what we have is we have an x to the 7th term, then an x to the 6th, then an x to the 5th, an x to the fourth, an x to the third, an x squared, an x, and then a constant term. The negative 1, so of course that's just going to alternate powers. So we're going to have a negative second term, a positive in the next term, then negative in this term, then positive in this term, then negative in this term, then positive in this term, and then the final term is negative. And now we need that row of Pascal's triangle. So just continuing down on Pascal's triangle a little bit. Six, fifteen, twenty, fifteen, six, one, one, seven, twenty one, thirty five, thirty five, twenty one, seven, and one. And those are our numbers. One, seven. 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, and 1. And that is how we raise x minus 1 to the 7th. Again, this is an enormously important trick to remember for calculus.